Help support our coverage through Amazon Prime. Get free music with Prime Music, TV, movies, and documentaries with Prime Video, and free games with Prime Gaming. For this and a whole lot more, go to PlugHitsLive.com slash Prime. Uh, our next guest is here. Hello, how are you? Hey, great to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Go ahead and introduce yourself for me. Sure. Uh, I'm Adam Lowe. I'm with Arculus which is, we believe, the, the next breakthrough in cryptocurrency cold storage. Okay. And, uh, and, and where, uh, tell me about that. Sure. So Arculus is a brand of CompoSecure, which is a company probably not a lot of people have heard of, but we're actually in your wallets. So we make uh, metal cards, for example, for American Express, Revolut, uh, and some other fintechs and big banks you've heard of. So you have a platinum card or gold card in your wallet, uh, it came from us. So we kind of translated that security and controller expertise um, into the cryptocurrency space, as well as our government ID experience. And we think we've come up with a, a great solution. So if you're if you're okay with it, to kind of frame the conversation, we have a great kind of intro video. It's about a minute long, if you'd like me to share that. Absolutely, yeah, for great. sure. So, uh, you know, that's that's our kind of teaser video. Okay. Um, and I think it kind of talks about and shows the capability of the application. And I'm happy to answer any questions or, or maybe frame it a little more for you if you'd like. Yeah, for sure. So um, I guess let's let's start far back for maybe those who don't have uh, enough of a familiarity. Um, explain what, what crypto uh, cold storage is. Sure. So uh, everybody's probably seen in the news lately the, the big jump in cryptocurrency value mm -hmm. um, and coming back down a little bit in people like Bitcoin, Ethereum, et cetera. So a lot of people use uh, big exchanges and store their cryptocurrency there. That's known as a, a hot wallet. Essentially, you don't maintain custody of your private keys and it lives up on the internet effectively. So that is vulnerable to hacking. So which we've what, seen, which we've seen many times on uh, on our flagship show F5 Live, we've talked about a number of crypto hacks. Yep, there have been over 1.4 billion dollars in, depending on what the value of the currency is of the day, in hacks. So that's a huge problem. So what cold storage does is it effectively gives users control of their crypto. You hold the private keys, and if you hold the private keys, no one can access your crypto, but you. So it sends uh, your funds to a, effectively an offline address and it securely stores your private keys inside your cool Arculus card. Okay. So um, why don't I, I have a deck I can talk to that, that okay. illustrates this um, a little better than, than just me talking. Um, so there we go. So the big feature with Arculus is what we call three-factor security. Okay. So something you know, which is your PIN, 
something you are, which is the biometric on your phone, and your cart, which is something you have. So you need all three of these to access your cryptocurrency within the Arculus app. So imagine you know, you've, you've gone on Coinbase or somewhere else the first time, you've bought crypto, and you decide you want to increase your security. You would uh, either import that wallet into this app or send it over the chain to our app, and then you would have access to uh, all three of these security features. Okay, gotcha. Um, so, so from from my background, my brother used to be heavily into uh, into Bitcoin. He had a whole couple of mining rigs and stuff. And one of the things that he always said was that he had to be on top of transferring to cold storage because there were always people trying to break into his computer <laughs> to to take what had just finished mining, and so. So he was always trying to get to cold storage, but he was never quite confident in it, right? Yeah. So I, because I think the there's thing, not necessarily a whole lot of security to it, but this adds all of that physical security on top of it being physically separated. Yeah, exactly. So okay. the, the, the big advantage to Arculus and the Arculus card is that it's completely air gapped. So your right. private keys are generated inside the secure element that live on the card. It never has to be charged. It never plugs into a computer. It never syncs to anything. So it really can't be exposed to any malware. And nice. the only time it talks to anything is when it talks to the phone over a secure encrypted NFC channel when you tap that card to the phone. Okay. So kind of looking at the wallet, um, you know, it's kind of a standard wallet. You can hold Bitcoin, Ethereum, all the major currencies. Sure. Um, and, and jumping ahead to the use case that we talked about. Um, you know, here, imagine sending crypto, right? This is, this is a classic example. So I'm going to send Bitcoin uh, to an address. I enter my PIN, my biometrics already been tapped, you know, hit my fingerprint on the back of my phone. And you can see there the example where I'm tapping the card, um, the phone prompts you to tap the card to the back of the phone. And that's it. And we think that's our big advantage and solves our pain point relative to other hardware cold storage wallets in the industry. So kind of the go-tos are say Ledger or Trezor, um, and they're actually kind of cumbersome to use. So there's a couple buttons and you have to enter pins and uh, it, it's rather challenging to use. So the mantra we're talking about here is, you know, it's simple as one tap, right? You enter a pin, you enter your biometric, you tap a card and you're done. And that's, that's really it. And we think that solves the big pain point and challenge um, for hardware wallets and cold storage that the market's missing right now. Yeah, for sure. Um, that it's obviously it's it's a ton of additional security. The the air gap capability obviously makes it uh, super super secure. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, exactly. And, and, and it's um the form factors is really something that people can identify with. It's a pretty sure. easy entry point. Um, you know, if you look at some other devices, they can be kind of intimidating, and the whole setup process can be a little intimidating. And we really wanted this to be as accessible for as many people as possible as more people get into cryptocurrency and easy use. Yeah. And it it looks and feels like something uh, um, financial because it looks like a like a debit or credit card. Yeah, it, it has the same uh, dimensions, So it literally fits in your wallet. It fits in all those card holders. Gotcha. Um, I think, you know, watching watching your last guest, part of it comes about pedigree. Right. So we we come from a card pedigree of government IDs, banking cards, and yeah. uh, all the security around that and ease of use. So I think a lot of that went into the design and thought that we want something familiar and easy to use for our customers. Yeah, and, and that can be that can be really important like we were, like you were saying with with the last guest, you know, having that having that background helps you get started with a new thing because it it's a uh, it's personal trust, right? I don't just have to trust the the, the, the thing works, I have to trust that it does what you say it does. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So. Especially when you're talking about monetary value, you know, somebody's right. literally putting money in your hands to some extent, and we really want to build that trust with our customers. Absolutely. So. Totally makes sense. So how far into this are we? So the app is live. Um, it's, right. it's not really easy to share over, over this platform, over streaming, right. but the app is live. Uh, we have uh, it in Android and, um, iOS. Okay. So we expect Q1 it to be kind of consumer ready and we expect the app to launch uh, and the card to launch in Q2. So we're okay. really excited. We're kind of getting out in front of the product 
kind of teasing the public um, and looking to partner. So uh, a couple of additional features I wanted to hit is within the app itself, you can exchange crypto. So we right. again wanted to make this really easy for the consumer not having to go out to an exchange and quote unquote trade. So you could say start with Bitcoin and say you want to get Ethereum. You again just end your pin, confirm your biometric, tap your card. It's going to send Bitcoin and it's going to send you back Ethereum. So again, okay. really easy for the user. Gotcha. That's that's pretty cool. Yeah. And then um, similarly, it's it's not shown. You can start with dollars. So you could start with US dollars okay. and uh, through a partner essentially purchase crypto if you're just okay. kind of entering in the space. Hot wallets are in, in inherently dangerous, right? right. You're, it's like giving someone else the keys to your car and trusting them with it. So you're giving, right. you're literally giving someone else the private keys to your money and saying, please take care of it. Right. And uh, I would say the crypto space is not regulated the same way the traditional banking space is. So your, your crypto can just disappear and that's it. Tough luck. And it's a story happen to people. Yeah. A lot. <laughs> it's it's yeah. happened too many times that we don't even talk about it on the show anymore because we got tired of the topic. Exactly. Exactly. So yeah, we're we're so. trying to really help people control their destiny, control their money, Good. and secure their crypto in a very easy to use and straightforward way. Very cool. If people want to find out more, follow the journey, and find out uh, when this thing launches for real, how can they do that? Oh, great. Uh, you can sign up on our website at arculus.co. That's arculus.co. And we're on Instagram at, at this is Arculus. Very cool. Well, thank you so much for coming on and talking about this. Um, I'm very personally very interested in it. And I'm, I imagine our audience is as well. Great. We really appreciate the time. Absolutely. And have a good rest of CES. Thanks. You too. I hope you enjoyed that interview, and if you did, make sure you check out some of the more than 100 interviews we conducted during the virtual CES 2021 coverage. And of course, subscribe here on YouTube, hit the notification bell to learn when we post new content and when we go live.